Okay, fellow YouTubers. That case that I've been working on, the Cooler Master, it's complete. I'm going to be editing up a video on the build. It probably came out a little longer than I expected it to because I'm not too used to working on a smaller case like this. But by the time I get done editing it, that's what I got to do is chop some things out. There's probably a lot of stuff I can get rid of where I was just babbling on like I always babble on. But here it is. Runs beautiful. Runs nice and cool. I did the benchmarks on it. it, it it's, it's great. So it's white, obviously. It's the Cooler Master NR200 case. They do make a P and they do make a other version with a window, a Cooler Master water cooler in it, and even um, a power supply. But I just went with the empty case because I built it from scratch the way I wanted to build it. So inside we have a mini ITX board. It's a gigabyte. AM, it's an AM4. Oris Pro X570. Gorgeous little board. I, I, I'm using one on my system. I love it. Um, it has one terabyte. M.2 in it, PNY. Also, it's coming with a PNY 500 gigabyte SSD drive. It has a 750 watt power supply in it. A Corsair, surprisingly, all the cables that came with it were all braided. I was very happy with that. Looks nice. It has a 240 millimeter NZXT. X53 water cool water cooler um, that has a RGB but again you really can't see a lot of it these cases are so small it's it's really duck tough the um, memory is vengeance 3200 nice memory 36 would have been nice but right now I've got a lot of 32 so I went with 32 um, I am getting 36 in. The chipset in it is the um, Ryzen 7 5800X. And the graphics card is an EVGA 3060Ti FTW3. Now, that's the one component that probably could be upgraded to either 3070 TI, 3070, 3070 Ti, or a 3080 Ti. I've got some of those in stock. I'm, they're not going to last long. I'm already having people getting a hold of me, but I've got more coming in. Um, so I guess that pretty much fi finishes it. I I'm just pleasantly surprised at how cool it runs. I really, I seen some reviews on it from other people that claimed it ran cool, but I really had to see it for myself. I mean, the the temperatures are in it uh, just as good, if not better, than some of the bigger cases I've built. I, I, I don't know how they do it. It's maybe because the airflow is so concentrated and it moves so fast through it. it it's pushed in through the side exhausted through the top and there's a little 80 millimeter in the back that I don't think does a whole heck of a lot but it's still there and um, that's going to wrap it up that video is going to be out pretty soon um, got to do some things today so tomorrow morning I'll get up and edit it and hopefully get it posted before I head on out and do some other things and I've got another build I got to start doing this week so I hope you enjoy it I hope you enjoy the video and please feel free, give me a thumbs up, even subscribe. It really does help the channel. You all been great. Thanks a lot.